my unknown senders folder is full of just older guys wanting to oh. slide. Just like stop. I don't want to know that. Stop. I don't want to know that. <laughs> My name is Noah. My name is Joy. And I am mom to this amazing human being. That's my mom. <laughs> We're here to get deep with you. Ooh, oh, there we go. Here it is. Who's Let's go. <laughs> go straight into the you sauce. Know you know what? <laughs> I, we ready for this, because we talked about this already. A person who is clearly a bit older than you slides into your DMs. How do you feel about that? You gotta clarify. Five, how how, how long are we talking? Ten years. Ten years? Yeah. I usually won't respond, but depends who depends who they are. Depends who they are, honestly. <laughs> are, we, are we talking about like Jennifer Aniston here? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd respond to that, but I mean, if it's like a random person on the street, probably not. Yeah. Where do you think creepers hang out online? <laughs> Where you least expect them, everywhere. They're Facebook. everywhere all the time. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Snap, you name it, man. They're everywhere. Honestly, it just, it's pervasive. There's not a corner of the internet where you can't escape them. So that means you have to be vigilant in how you transact your personal interactions in different social media spaces. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, they're everywhere. Do you usually respond when someone you don't know slides into your DMs? Yeah, all the time. I mean, it's it's in my nature of work, right? I have to I have to do the networking. I have to say yes and no to people on a daily basis. So if somebody's sliding into my DMs, most of the time it's not for anything malicious, but I I met some of my favorite friends online. How do you know the person you're talking to isn't lying about who they are? Well, it's a tough one. It's mm -hmm. almost impossible to tell these days, but first thing I check is, is the, the bio and also the mutuals is a really great way to tell. And usually you'll be able to tell like if they have a, 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 a super well done profile picture or like really not well done profile picture, but a private account. <laughs> um, and just like general, like how active they are on social. But I mean, if it's a real person, it's hard to tell who's lying and who's not lying. Yeah. If you met someone online, do you trust them more if they're younger or older? Well, that's a good one. You would think older. That's not the answer. It's not true. That's totally not true not. for me at all. No. My unknown senders folder is full of just older guys wanting to oh. slide, just like stop. I don't want to know that. Stop. I don't yeah. want to know that. <laughs> but it's true. I mean, green card mama, that's what it's all about. I yeah, mean, you already got your green card. You don't need no more. <laughs> no more of that. Stay the hell out of my mom's DMs, yeah. yo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, younger. Younger. Okay, for yeah, sure. I'm with you there. <laughs> no more old people, bro. <laughs> nah. How long should you wait to exchange nudes with someone they've only met online? Like, never. <laughs> Can I spell that out for you? N E V E R. So I know all the Never. old guys in your DMs aren't getting shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Good. It, that is not, that I'm is not you. a thing. Honestly, I mean, if you're transacting in the bedroom, is that really necessary? <laughs> no. Keep intimacy in the bedroom between the two of you rather than way. just <laughs> sending it out into the ether for someone else to catch. You gotta wait to see the gold. It's hey. at the end of the rainbow, right? <laughs> You don't get anything until you get to the end of the rainbow. <laughs> yeah. How would you respond? Ooh, this is a good one. I, I wish I could. What are put you names. doing to me? I man? wish I could put names on this. How would you respond if someone that you respected asked for a nude? In other words, a teacher, a mentor, a coach. If you're if you're in a position of power, like a teacher or a coach, and you're asking your the people that you're coaching or teaching for things like that. You're crossing a line, and I would hope that the people who are who are receiving those types of messages have the have the confidence and the ability to go seek um, help from from someone a little bit higher up, whether that's a principal or the person running the club or whatnot. That's where I, that's where I'd go first. What do you think of when you hear the word grooming? I think of usually older people targeting 
younger, naive individuals on the internet and engaging in what seems like super chill conversations with them about things that they're interested in, and then very, very gradually sliding that conversation into something that is not overtly sexual at the beginning, but definitely starts leaning towards that way. And if kids aren't used to picking up on innuendo or the subtleties of the introduction of sexual conversation, they'll just miss it, they'll answer. Once they're used to answering one particular level of question, then it just escalates, escalates, escalates until somebody's asking for, flat out asking for a nude, flat out asking for a cam session, face to face. How confident are you that you would be able to recognize if you were being groomed online? I'd like to say that I would be, but I can also 100% say that if it was for a younger person, that grooming starts so subtly mm. and virtually imperceptibly. I feel like young people are very susceptible to, to manipulation, especially like if, even like 13, 14, 15, 16, you don't have the experience, the life experience to be able to tell the difference between somebody who's grooming you and somebody who's being genuine. Yeah. And as much as you want to say these kids are grown up and with social media being like their left hand, there's, there's just no way to work around that. Like experience, experience is everything. And you can't get that until you're at least in your mid-20s. Do you think there's any way we can stop grooming? You, you can try and stop anything and people will find a way to make it happen. And I think honestly, the more limitations you put on people, the more they're gonna try to do it. So no, I don't think you can stop grooming. You have to learn how to coexist with it and understand the strategies to do so. If a famous person asks for your personal info, do you feel obligated to send it? I mean, if a famous person slid into my DM and just straight up asked for my, my information, no, nah, exactly. it's, it's not happening. Yeah. yeah, there always has to be a chain of reasons behind I think it. that's pretty standard too, right? Like whether or not they're famous or not, like why, why would you just give your information to somebody on the, out of the blue? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So there's no, there's no insulation from somebody being a creeper or somebody being sus just because they're a public figure. Yeah. Can't rely on that at all. It doesn't change anything. Would you have this conversation again? With you? Mm. Yeah, anytime. Anytime. I, I don't see a problem with that at all. We talk about this stuff literally either around the dinner table or sitting in the living room or we've always been really open. As parents, it's our responsibility to make sure that there's no roadblocks that we throw up, even the smallest one, that would hinder our kids from coming to us and talking to us about literally absolutely anything. From a, a child's perspective, growing up with somebody like yourself, it's, for parents, it's, it's a huge thing to, to have the ability to just listen and have an open dialogue because a lot of the time the parents end up talking to their kids and telling their kids and not enough time listening to what the kids have to ask and what they need to learn, right? At the end of the day, children don't have anybody to ask about how life works. They're just thrown into this crazy world and they have no idea how to, how to interrupt, interact with it and, and interpret it. And they need somebody like a parent, whether it's th their parent or somebody else's, to help them learn that and understand that. And if you're not providing that to your kid, they're gonna they're gonna have some problems online, right? It's just the name of the game. Hi, I'm Joy. I'm Noah. And, and we, we just, just finished No, no Filter, Filter Talks. Talks. Love you, man. I do too.